hi and welcome back to my channel keeping your heart the place where we explore ways to keep our hearts open and engaged as we walk alongside people so if you haven't been here before this is your first time or you just haven't subscribed yet don't forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell that will let you know that a new video is showing up so we're here in this series of bullet journaling and unpacking different facets of it and many of you have asked for specific things so I have a request for what is a time tracker so that's what we're going to look at in this video um, take a look here at this poll and let me know what other kind of videos you would like in bullet journaling what elements would be helpful for you and we'll get those made okay let's take a look Okay, so let's take a little look at how to utilize a time tracker in your daily calendar. So, um, so <laughs> this week um, has been a kind of relaxed week for me. I am trying not to overtask myself. I have a lot of work to do, but a lot of my work is just being present with people and walking through things and meeting and planning. So the number of tasks that I am keeping track of is not a whole lot this week, even though there's these things to do. Um, I'm I'm really taking my time to give myself some balance and breathe this week, um, even in the midst of my busyness as I get ready for things. So um, I wanted to show you, this is today's time tracker. So um, the different colors are de have different designations. So I use these fine line pens from Artist Loft. And the ones that I use are um, pretty much these here. So any of these types of colors could show up. And they have different roles. So if you look down here on my calendar, it'll show you green is home and family, blue, light blue is social, pink is personal self-care, purple is yoga and health, or six, six. Um, orange is work, blue is birthday, yellow is teaching, and um, don't worry about the, the black. Um, so something that you don't see over here that you see in this pile is brown. And so brown is my sleep, so I do like to track as much as I can my sleep so I can figure out when I'm going to bed and when I'm getting up. So the interesting that's hap thing that's happening this week is I cannot fall asleep because it is so hot here in Southern California. Even with an air conditioner, it's just hot. So it, it makes it very hard for me to sleep. So I don't really fall asleep until right around two o'clock. And so this morning I got up at between seven and eight. It was closer to seven. Um, I might've hit the snooze button a couple of times. Um, but I started working at eight o'clock and I was at work until 1.30, so I'm gonna get close here to the one. And then I just do a little side stroke here with the pen. So you can see the numbers so that there's not too much bleeding on the other side. So when I draw this um, line here, I'm using my Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen, and this one in fine, so that's the one that works for me. So I'll take you through that in just a moment. So the, the next things that I was doing was um, really taking care of myself this afternoon. So up until the time that I was working on this video, it's four o'clock now, I was doing some planning, doing some additional journaling, writing some letters, doing some gratitude log. And so now we're back at working again. So it just occurs to me that I'm going to have to figure out what color doing these types of things are of these videos. So um, that's, but that's okay. So this just kind of gives me an idea of what the blocks of time are. And so I can also, um, when I'm spending too much time on my phone, or in front of TV, uh, that's not really self-care for me, that's just relaxing. Um, then I can be honest with myself about where I need to adjust my time. Um, or if I recognize, oh, you know, I'm really, there's no purple on here. Well, I did have yoga, but I didn't put it on here. I need to put that in at eight o'clock. See, we don't have to be perfect. We're just getting an idea of the things that we're doing here, right? 
So um, as you see, I do track the whole day from beginning to end. I start at midnight and go through midnight. I use my ruler for that. And at this point, I generally can eyeball it and figure out how many across it is, 24 squares are going to be. So I just draw the line twice with this pen and number it. And the reason I use this one is because it is waterproof and so you can see there's, there's no smearing when I use the color. So this is one of the ways, there's also electronic ways that you can track this on, online, but I just really appreciate, not only does it help me look at when it is that I'm working, track what's going on with my working out, my self-care, my sleep, um, but also other ways that I'm spending my time. So it definitely helps me keep track of that. So that's super straightforward and, and quick and um, not too complicated um, how to use a time tracker in your daily planning. So why don't you let me know what you use keep track of your time. Hey, thanks for watching the time tracker video. If you have other topics that you like covered that we didn't cover in that poll at the beginning, don't forget to add those to the comments and take a little look at that circle where you can subscribe to the channel if you haven't before. And also take a look at this playlist. Maybe there is something in there for you too. Thank you so much. Don't forget to keep your heart and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.